Hi friends. Typically, each radio amateur who has just started to get involved in electronics among first designs has made a flasher, a simple amplifier, a receiver and a transmitter. At network, there are many simple transmitter circuits, but after the assembly, almost all have faced with some problems, in particular, the lack of generation or too small transmission distance. If you haven't in hand proper equipment, like a wave meter or a frequency meter for hundreds of megahertz, it's very difficult to adjust it. I will show you today a simple device for transmitter adjustment. The idea of creating this video appeared after I found my first radio transmitters, which are working till now. The device represents the radio frequency field detector, which is able to catch the electromagnetic radiation from the transmitter. It can be used to configure the transmitter with an operating frequency up to 500 MHz and of course for FM range. Such a detector cannot show transmitter working frequency, but check for presence of generating and to configure device to maximum distance is quite possible. The device does not contain a power source, which makes it completely autonomous, versatile and I can say eternal. We need indicator with arrow. You can use any voltmeter, ammeter in general, everything you can find. In the case of using an ammeter, it should be open. Inspect for embedded shunt. If it is present, must be removed, otherwise nothing will work. The same should be done in the case of a voltmeter. It's likely inside to be located the resistor and diode. They also need to be removed. We need a naked indicator. The scheme is simple. Easier to know where a couple of details and the antenna. For a detector, diode strongly advised to use the old-style germanium diode. In the description is the document where there are listed some diodes suitable for these purposes. It is also possible to use the modern microwave diodes, although such is much more difficult to find. In addition, we need one resistor which may have a resistance of 1.5 to 4.7 kilo ohms. I took 3.3 kilo ohms. Antenna is a piece of copper wire, length of 5 to 10 centimeters. Diameter is not particularly important, but for durability I advise you to take a wire with a diameter above 1 millimeter. Connect all according to the scheme. Set it in the box and you're done. Connect the transmitter to a power source. It is important to remember that during setup there can't be hands touched to the transmitter and the antenna of the device. Next, bring closer the antenna of detector to transmitter antenna. If the arrow deviates, it means transmitter works. If the arrow was deflected in opposite direction, then you need to rearrange the indicator pins, in other words, to change the polarity. Many transmitter schemes have variable capacitor in the resonant circuit. We need to carefully rotate it. We must rotate a little bit, remove the hand, look at the arrow indicator. Repeat it until getting maximum deflection. Next, you need to catch the signal at the receiver. If done FM transmitter, then it needs to catch from 87.5 to 108 MHz. Due to the uncertainty of the oscillatory circuit components, the frequency can go beyond the FM band. So, I advise you to use an online calculator to calculate the oscillation circuit. One of these calculators can be found on our website. The link is in the description. Such simple calculator helps quite accurately configure the transmitter to the correct working frequency. During setup, you can connect the detector antenna with the transmitter antenna, but arrow can deflect without direct contact of antennas too. It all depends on the transmitter power. If the arrow does not move at all, then the transmitter is likely not working. In this case, look for bugs in the assembly, check for the properly contacts and so on. But above all, before assembling, check all the components, even if they are completely new. By the way, the device can be used to search for hidden radio transmitters. Well, if you need a radio transmitter but you are too lazy to make it yourself, in the description I will leave links to cheap Chinese transmitters. Thanks for watching! With you was Kassian TV.